What's up? It's your old pal Wizardfu bringing you another game development video, making the game Wraithbinder. It's a multiplayer hack and slash with eight players. Probably coming to your game playing screen in 2021, probably early alpha this year, 2020. Uh, so, what's new here is multiplayer. I finally have multiplayer version of Wraithbinder. Um, so we're starting our players here on the ship. This is the ship and the crew. And I've got two human players in a split screen environment here. So if I uh, use my keyboard, I can move this main character. Um, and I'm starting off with a pretty blank slate as far as the crew. And everybody starts with 10 credits and basically no items, no hair, pff, nothing. You don't even have a shirt. Um, and then I've got another player here controlled with my gamepad. This is my trusty gamepad. I love this thing. Bluetooth and all that. Um, so I can run around as this character as well. Um, the characters don't have inventories yet, but there will eventually be an inventory screen as well where you can go there, see your character a little more close up, uh, check out your items, your armor, and all that kind of stuff. But let's check out the, the process of actually playing Wraithbinder two players. Um, and of course this is all going to be online in the eventually uh, real-time online combat and this whole world where you can explore and buy items and stuff like that. So he's got a cloak. Yay. Alright, so um, for now is with this split-screen environment Whenever one player goes and initiates the menu, um, the other player can still run around and do their thing. Check us out. See this? But if they try and initiate a menu, it just won't work. Um, even if I press the start button on my gamepad, my gamepad is controlling player two here. Nothing happens. Uh, but if player one goes back and exits the menu, then the control resumes and the other player can go and initiate a menu. So that's kind of how it's working for now. Um, I could make it so each split screen has its own control of menus. So um, if like player one wants to go buy an item, player two can also buy that item, buy a different item at the same time. It would just mean that the text and everything would be squished down to um, a smaller screen, which I'm not sure is optimal. Anyways, if you're playing this split screen, um, and I imagine that's probably split this split screen multiplayer is going to be more like consoles or couch co-op type players uh, But most players will probably prefer to play the the online combat um, With just one screen and everybody like logging in with their own clients Oh All right, sweet. So that worked. Okay. I was just checking if that worked. That's cool. Uh, basically, we can we can warp to battle here. Let's go ahead and warp to battle and show you what it's like playing um, multiplayer. And we're, let's do something fun in this video too. Uh, at the end of this video, let's try something crazy that I haven't ever tried. We'll try uh, maybe four screens. I think I could think this game could do four screens now. Let's try that. And also another fun thing to try would be um, trying free for all mode. I've only done teams mode so far. So let's try this out. Uh, I think either player can go and use this portal. Let's see if that works for either player. Yeah. Okay, cool. So the one thing that's missing is that there's supposed to be an A, a button A above the player's head to show that you can actually use that. But let's go ahead and try, um, let's go ahead and do the team mode first. Okay, only one player warped there. That's, oops, seg fault. <laughs> I wonder what happened. We're already doing something fun. Which player should I control? What's neat too is I can actually assign, uh, I can actually do two players, but only one of them being human. And that will mean I can watch an AI play, which is pretty interesting. You go, you watch what a bot does and watch how it runs around the screen and stuff like that. Okay, so player one's just getting there, getting hit. Oh, or player two. Oh. So we have no items starting out here. This is um so, but players start off with the fist ability, um, which is you can just attack people with your fists. <laughs> the, the fist ability sounds good. Kind of... Uh, what? 
Seg fault again. The same one. Okay, we got to run this from Xcode to see you get to catch this next time. Actually, we could run it from the command line now. I've got Vim working with debugging, but um, it's a little iffy. Sometimes you get caught in these loops and you're like, whoops, I just killed the debugger and boom. It's like I'm not used to working in the command line with LLDB as, as well. Okay, we're running with that node so we can catch that bug if we need. We've both got, we got either player we could use. In fact, should we change it so there's only one, the other player is an AI? Yeah, let's do that. That'll be a little more interesting than me trying to control two players right now. The whole reason I did this whole multiplayer thing right now is because I'm going to have a trip coming up with my boys, my bros that I grew up with um, in Oregon. I'm from Oregon. And uh, I love seeing my buddies. And we have this yearly trip. We're getting together, and we, we'll play video games like all week. We're at the beach. We go out and um, have some beach time, family time. We go and we catch, um, catch things like we'll go fishing. But anyways, so yeah, we we can watch player two being the AI over there, and I'm on the left screen over here. So we're on the same team. Um, and uh, it looks like the fog of war is all messed up. Let's turn off fog of war real quick. Where is that? There it is. Disable fog of war. So some of the, the reason some of these graphics are all messed up now is because I had to take all the sprites and render them to two different screens. And um, there's two different FBOs sorry frame buffer objects there's two different frame buffers basically that it's rendering to per camera so each camera has a, a frame buffer for um uh let's see a frame buffer for the the actual voxels that it's got down there like so it's the actual voxels that are being rendered that is going to a single frame buffer called fbo1 and then there's another frame buffer on top of it say fault i thought we were running from xcode Wow, it's brutal out there. It's brutal out there. Shoot, I really need to refine this code before I try and play this with my bros. Yeah, oh, I don't know what's going on right now. I'm trying to film a video and debug. This ain't working. Okay, so what we'll do is um, let's go ahead and try that crazy thing. Let's try four cameras. I've never tried this before. It's probably going to crash. Let's see what happens. You get the point though, right? Wraithbinder, it's a multiplayer game. And I'm excited for the fact that it has split screen now. Especially on consoles, this will be a sweet thing. Yeah, <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Four screens? And it's, none of them are working. It looks like we're, we're attached to four players. Oh, two, I wonder if it, it has something to do with two of the players not having any input. Huh, I... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I might know what it is. Let's do a little bit of live coding real quick. Um, it's in camera. And it's when it's setting, yeah, setting these number of cameras. It does the width and the height and the desk position. But then, where the hell is that? There we go, the anchor points, okay. So it's got these different anchor points that it can use for different screens. Let's see if we can do the math real quick. I don't know. Okay, yeah, yeah, we can do this. Cam index mod two, sorry, mod. And this one would be cam index mod, no less than or equal to less than two uh, okay so if it's less than two we do zero and then if it's greater than two greater than or equal to two we do one and minus mod two yeah okay i think that might do it let's see 
we're basically setting the anchor point for the FBOs that I was talking about, the frame up for objects. Oh, closer. Closer to working. I don't know why. I have never tried this, so. But just, look at this. The game's playing itself. We've got some crazy graphics going on because there's no voxels visible. But I guarantee you those voxels are somewhere. They're off to the left or off to the right or down below, up above. This is the kind of stuff I've been dealing with trying to get split screen multiplayer working. And um, let me tell you, I'm really, really happy to have two screens working. And this four screens is probably just a bug or two away from working. So that'd be kind of neat, right? Four players all on one couch. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the butt prints in one couch? Uh, four players playing this. This would be amazing. It'd be glorious. So, anyways, thanks for watching this video. And uh, if you didn't catch it the first time, I'm Wizard Fu, and this game is Wraithbinder. Check it out on Steam sometime when I put the page up. Later. Mm-hmm. <laughs>